Happening today, the Nassau County Legislature will vote on a controversial proposal to allow Las Vegas Sands to construct a massive casino on the Nassau Coliseum property. But even if county lawmakers vote yes, the deal would still require New York State approval. CBS 2's Derek Waller is live in Mineola, where that vote is coming up this afternoon. Derek. Mary, Cindy, and if you've been following this story at home, you might be feeling a sense of deja vu because, yes, this is the second time that the Nassau County Legislature has taken this vote after Hofstra University sued last year and won that lawsuit. Now, take a look at the renderings. We can show you what this looks like. Uh, the massive hotel tower, casino, concert space, restaurants, it would replace the Nassau Coliseum. Las Vegas Sands is a company behind the deal. They used to operate the Venetian in Vegas but sold it two years ago. Today at 1 o'clock, the legislature will hold a public hearing and take two votes, one on handing over the existing space to LVS and the other to allow them to redevelop the property. Now, last year, legislators voted 17 to 1 to approve it, but a judge ruled the decision violated the state's open meeting laws. So now they're trying again, and just like last time, it appears to have near unanimous support from legislators except for one. This is really, um, in my opinion, promoting gambling with Nassau County invested, having such a huge investment in our county. And it is surrounded by a number of schools. Six billion dollars worth of economic activity over the course of, you know, the next 18 to 20 months when it's shovel in the ground. You're having a, a piece of property which has been stale for years. It may even reduce some taxes. And that's because Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman estimates it would bring in $100 million a year in new revenue. But there's still got to be an environmental review. The state also actually has to issue the gaming license. And there's concerns about traffic as well. Hofstra University also says they're concerned their students, which are who are located right across the street from this site, uh, could develop a gambling addiction. Reporting live here in Mineola, Derek Waller, CBS News, New York. Derek, thank you.